When the first part for the brag dropped for me, I got super excited, thinking that I got a hold of something really special. And of course I asked my friends, hey man, what is this all about? And they explained that I'm gonna need all of these parts that only drop from G3, and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna get this legendary weapon. Was it worth the wait? Well, we're about to find out. Hey guys, hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna be diving deeper into the secondary weapon. I'm gonna be covering a cheap build, something affordable that anybody can build, but of course we also have the classic end game setup with a Riven. That being said though, please keep in mind that my builds and guides follow a new player friendly approach, simply because there's a lot of info here and I want anybody watching to understand how the weapon functions and how it should be built. So if you're a veteran of the game and already know most of this stuff, then please, bear with me. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the brack. Let's begin by checking out how the weapon behaves without any mods equipped, and for that I'm simply gonna be taking a couple of free shots. The Brack is a semi-automatic secondary shotgun, and by default it will fire 10 pellets. Now that is a pretty impressive number, but keep in mind that your status chance will be getting divided among the pellets. Now you can also go for rapid fire, like so, just keep in mind that the recoil is kinda hard to control. My recommendation is to go shot for shot and also take into account the damage drop off. But let's jump into stats to see precisely what we're dealing with. Mod capacity is 60 out of 60, and if your Brack only has 30 out of 30, then jump into actions and install an Auto King Catalyst. The Auto King Catalyst can be found from alerts, invasions, or if you're lucky, from the daily sortie. More often than not, I have to pay 20 plat to have one plugged in, it really depends on how many weapons you are trying to max out. The accuracy is 5.6, now that is pretty low, but again, this is a shotgun, you gotta be up close and personal with your target in order to get the most out of the brag. So think about beefy frames that can take a bit of a beating, something like Rhino or Inaros. Critical chance is low at 17%, but the multi is nice at 2.0x, and the damage falloff is between 11 and 22, so once again, you do kinda gotta be close. Fire rate of 5 with a magazine of 5 and a reload of 1.0. Now, for a shotgun, a magazine of 5 is not horrible. I've seen worse, for example, like on the heck, and the reload is quite uh, quick at one second. Riven disposition only 2 out of 5, which means that the Brack is quite popular and the Rivens will not be spectacular for it. Still worth getting, my general rule of thumb is is that if a weapon is Riven Disposition 1, then I don't really bother getting a Riven, but it's higher than 1, I'm definitely gonna go for it as long as I enjoy it. Status chance 17% which once again is low and this is a shotgun and my status chance will be getting divided among the pellets. So you gotta divide this by 10 for default for no extra multi shot so you're gonna be getting a status chance of 1.7% per pellet. And that's a bit of a bummer. Now let's take a look at the default damage on the weapon, impact, puncture and slash. Now this is a pretty decent arrangement, unfortunately for us the highest amount is going to be impact. My weapon has been formatted a total of 5 times, but this was done only for the purpose of testing. For the weapon builds, I'm recommending you guys 2 free forma should do it. So let's start slapping on some mods, starting with mandatory mods, and there's nothing more mandatory than damage. Hornet Strike with 220%, and you can also slap on Ogre Pact, 90% extra damage plus the benefit of the set, but more on this mod a tad later. Next we're gonna go into multi-shot and we're gonna be slapping on Battle Diffusion with 120% and Lethal Torrent, 60% multi-shot and 60% fire rate. Now the fire rate on the Brack is not exactly ideal, we're only using this one strictly for the 60% multi-shot. Next we should be going into amplifying our damage with a bit of elemental damage, perhaps some status chance, but we're gonna pause here just for a second so we can talk about how status chance works on pellet based weapons. What you're after on pellet based weapons such as the Brack or for example the Heck, Vakor, Heck and so on and so forth is a 100% true status chance before multi-shot effects. Since this is a uh, pellet based weapon, multi-shot will add a shot status chance but this is not true status chance. True status chance effects are things such as Stunning Speed 10%, Jolt, Frostbite, Pistol Pestilence and Scorch with 60%. If you manage to reach on a pellet based weapon a true 100% status chance before multi shot effects such as uh, Barrel Diffusion and Lethal Torrent, then all of your pellets will be applying a status effect to the target depending of course on how you built your weapon. There can be either elemental status effects or they can be physical status effects. Unfortunately, because the low base status chance of only 17% that is simply impossible for the Brack. So we can't really build into status. If I was, for example, to slap on all the status chance I have, 
realistically speaking, something like this. I'm gonna get 91.1 and that is a shot status chance. Now, I gotta divide this 91.1 by the number of pellets I'm firing. 10 by default, but then I slapped on a whole bunch of multi-shot, which uh, increases my pellets to 24. So this gets divided by 24, which means that my per pellet status chance is abysmal. It's simply not worth going for status chance when it comes to the brack. And it's not worth on pellet-based weapons in general unless you can reach that magic number of 100%. Normally on weapons such as this we kinda atone for the lack in status chance with the Riven but the dispo is only 2 so the amount uh, we're gonna get on a Riven is gonna be quite small as well. Any way you slice it you cannot get a true 100% status chance on this one unless you're talking about Warframe buffs or some other kooky effects. I simply do not recommend it and I thought I should point that one out. So if I can't go for status chance, what can I do? Crit chance and crit damage, of course, but once again, I am kind of being held in check because the crit chance is only 17%, but I don't really have a better option than that. Crit chance does not get divided among the number of pellets. So, at least there's that. Crit chance with the uh, pistol gambit, and of course, if you have prime versions, go for prime versions. We're gonna use prime versions in the Riven setup just a tad later. And of course, crit chance and crit damage. Crit damage through target cracker, 60% crit damage. Now, my critical chance is 37.4, and my critical multiplier jumped up to 3.2. Now, let's add some elemental damage. And elemental damage should always be applied on a weapon depending on circumstance. Where are you going and who are you fighting? For example, if you're going up against the infested, I would recommend you just build heat against them. They have four different health types each with their own unique vulnerabilities and resistances to damage. Check the info out on the wiki. When it comes to the Corpus faction, they have big shields, and against shields you can build magnetic damage, or you can build gas or toxin, which will bypass their shields entirely and deal damage to their health. When it comes to the Grenier, these are recognized as being the toughest targets in Warframe, and against them, you gotta take into account the armor type they have. Alloy, which is weak to radiation damage, and Ferrite, which is weak to corrosive damage. Against Grenier, more often than not, your best bet will be to build corrosive which is the elemental combo between electricity and toxin so let's build some like i stated earlier going for the 60 mods is simply a mistake at this point as the status chance will be getting divided by 24 the number of pellets i'm currently firing so we're gonna go straight for the 90 mods with convulsion and pathogen rounds and now i got 3226 corrosive i'm not gonna be procking a whole lot of status my 40 percent a uh, 40.7% shot status chance will be getting divided by 24. But I built corrosive because of the 75% bonus damage it does versus ferrite armor. And again, these should be swapped in and out depending on who exactly are you shooting. We still have one more mod slot left on the weapon and this is what I like to call the option slot. Plug into this one whatever you feel comfortable with. For example, a lot of players enjoy punch through and for good reason. That means that your pellets will be going through the initial target and keep traveling to hit multiple as long as they're all stacked up together. For example, like a Voban can stack them up or maybe they're coming at you in the end file. Again, great use out of punch through and I highly recommend you give Seeker a go. But perhaps you're the kind of man that enjoys a little bit more crit then why the hell not? Not hydraulic crosshairs, 135% critical chance when aiming for 9 seconds. Of course, this is a non-headshot effect and you can farm this one from Lua Spy Missions. Link in the card now for easy way mode to farm. My recommendation to you guys would be to go for a little bit more damage. And more damage with Augur Pack, 90% extra. But again, into this one, plug whatever you feel comfortable with. Now that we got our first build, we're gonna be spawning in Corrupted Heavy Gunner level 120 and see what the Brack is capable of. Now the mastery lockout requirement on the Brack is only 6. Again, this is not a very high MR weapon and you will see that when it comes to high level targets such as these, it's kind of struggling a little bit. I already empty 2 clips on this target and it's still not dead, that's gonna be free even for and still no cigar. The problem with the Brack is that it doesn't really have anything special. It doesn't have crit chance, it doesn't have a amazing crit multi like the new core has for example, and it doesn't have status chance either and it's still a shotgun. Unfortunately there is nothing in the base stats that we can exploit to a great degree. The base damage on the Brack is quite nice, absolutely, but without status chance or without crit chance it simply will underperform. Then again, those are level 120, what exactly are you gonna see targets such as that? Something like Elite Sanctuary Onslaught perhaps, or maybe you wanna go into an Endurance run and stay an hour or an hour or two or something like that. Yes, that's when you're gonna be seeing that kind of target. However, let's bring it down just a little bit to something a little bit more MR appropriate, let's say level 70s, why the hell not? 
When it comes to level 70s, these guys of course have lower health and lower armor, but I believe this is a lot more realistic when it comes to the Brack. Again, this is MR6 we're talking about. Then again, how many players are going to get the Brack by MR6? Keep in mind that you can only get this weapon from G3 and you cannot trade the parts. You cannot buy them off the trade chat. So it's gonna take a while before you get it. Are you gonna be MR6 by that point? Hmm... I think that's a very small chance. I got the Brack when I was like MR12, 13, something like that. And by that point, the Brack came as an underpowered weapon. It's puzzling to me what exactly is the developer thinking with this weapon because it does take quite a while to acquire it and it doesn't really pack that big of a punch. Huh, that is a bit of a mystery to me. In any case, let's try out a Riven setup now. Yes, I do have a Riven for this one, and thankfully for me, it does take advantage of the only thing I can build to a decent extent on the Brack, Critical Chance and Raw Damage. And of course, I swapped in Prime Pistol Gambit and Prime Target Cracker instead of the normal versions. And we're gonna be spawning in the same targets once again, level 70s. I think it's clear, against level 100 plus, the Brack simply will not perform all that great. But as you can see, I can two-shot these targets without any real issue. Level 70, when are you going to see level 70? Sortie 2 to Sortie 3, something like that. In Sortie 3, you do have the option, depending on what kind of mission you're looking at, to see even higher levels than this. But honestly, level 70 is more than enough for a realistic showcase. When it comes to the Brack... Honestly, I was disappointed. I was expecting for this fantastic weapon considering how hard it can be to acquire it if you're not super lucky. And to be honest, it's simply mediocre at best and that's me being kind. I don't really recommend the Brack unless you get it by MR6, maximum 7, something like that. Because past that point, you're gonna get access to much better secondary weapons. And that's pretty much gonna do it for the review. As always, my name is Ben Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. If you have any feedback for me or would like to request a specific weapon review, then by all means, leave it in the comment section down below. I can't promise you that it will be done by next time or even within a week because these reviews do take quite a bit of time. But I will be reading through each and every comment. You can also catch me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. But until next time, guys. Bye-bye.